Oh, hey, how you doing? So about a year ago, we saw Bobby Misner, uh, the the billionaire son, the 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 the. It, 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 it. The internet phenomenon, every commentary YouTuber and their dog made a video about him because he was such easy pickings. And now it, it looks like there's a new one. And that is, I am Sophie, the self-proclaimed queen of YouTube, as we can see. And just based on this thumbnail here, we can see very rich, uh, very... Yeah, just rich. I mean, the video is just flexing, really. So I found I am Sophie because... Leon Lush made a video on her before me, uh, you can see that here. But I'm making this video because one, funny, and two, because there have been some interesting developments since then. Uh, we'll get to that later though, for now, we just laugh. So let's go into the new Queen of YouTube channel trailer. Let's see what she's all about. I am Sophie, young, popular, talented. I am a friend, a daughter, a sister and it might look like I've got it pretty easy but this all these crazy things private jets fast cars beautiful friends they've made me think am I happy damn damn that's pretty deep okay she's uh she's not your average rich girl <laughs> it's a good meme when um when obscenely rich and and not rich because they did it themselves not rich because they earned it, but rich because dad's rich or mum's rich. You know, the Bobby Misners of the world. I love it. It's so rich, no pun intended, when they say, yes, I have a ha ha, a private jet and a ha ha, a Lamborghini, a ha ha. But I'm not like these other kids with their private jets and Lamborghini, but I do have to mention that I have it because I, I can't just gloss past that. You have to know that I do. The first thing she mentions is, <laughs> popular, which is kind of sad because what popular person is saying that they're popular? What? I mean, un unless it's Mean Girls or like some Nickelodeon show, no one says they're popular, you know? But yeah, there we go, just a few observations about that. Uh, the next one, the debut vlog, is the guide to being young, rich, and powerful. Um, I don't know whether there's a guide to this, like the process you went through was be born, but let's see if we can get some tips from this video from I am Sophie. I'm Sophie. <laughs> Was that really cringe? Should I do that again? Was that really cringe? Oh, it's not funny. I just, I, I just like the word cringe. Moving on. First and foremost, I would consider myself a businesswoman. I'm really smart in business. I'm also a model, because <laughs> you know, there's like hella Insta vibes there, and the free clothes are sick. Okay, okay, maybe I misjudged her. Maybe there is something to this girl, to Sophie, that makes her interesting, or makes, you know, makes me want to watch her and gain some insight from her. Maybe this actually is a guide on how to be young, rich, and powerful. I mean, it's definitely not, but just for the bit, let's see. This is the library. There's like so many super old books from all of our ancestors and things. So it's like not really my vibe, but Cicero and Homery. Watch a film on my iPad or like read Vogue or Cosmopolitan and like don't have to use my hands. Yeah, the saddest thing is just how wasted this library and everything about this house is. This amazing library with Probably like thousand year old, one of a kind, original copy books, you know? Just the writing of Aristotle himself, handwritten in these hallowed shelves. I just like to use it to read uh, Vogue, uh, Cosmopolitan. Project. <laughs> Did you just insta tag Private Jet and Lambo on this on this video? This is too much. This is, you are, you, you are too much for me, Sophie. In case you didn't know, Private Jet. Lambo, lots of money, very expensive things, okay? They're mine. So here we have um, our cream leather seats. It's from Macau um, and their skin is meant to be a lot softer, so it is really comfortable. I told dad to go for black, but he pays, he decides. <laughs> I wanted my dad to get the black leather seats. He got the white leather seats on my PJ. <laughs> Damn. Life sure is rough for you, 
Sophie, I mean, sometimes I think things have got me down, yeah? It truly, nothing compares to your woes, Sophie. So yeah, tell them a little bit about yourself. Okay, so I've been a boxing trainer now for about two years. Uh, my youngest client's five, my oldest client's 72. Teach it to all fitness levels, um, all disabilities. All tell them about the celebrities. I can't really talk about that, unfortunately. It's a bit confidential. He teaches loads of celebrities, that's why he's being modest. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so we get the meme at this point. She is insufferable, doesn't realize her own privilege, is just the worst, is just the worst person you've ever seen. Maybe two the worst. Hmm. <laughs> Was that deep? Anyway, that's the, the guide to becoming blah, 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 whatever. This is responding to Leon Lush. Uh, obviously, Leon Lush, a little while back, made a video on Sophie. It was not the nicest, you know, a little bit critical. Um, so this is obviously Sophie responding to that. Let's see what she has to say. Firstly, I just wanted to address something that has been bothering me quite a lot. A lot of people have said that I have got hella, hella lots of money and can't talk about normal things. You know, being mega rich is probably awesome for a lot of reasons, but it's tough, I think, for a lot of people, especially when they grow up that way, because they don't really bring a lot to the table sometimes other than being mega rich. Like, that becomes their entire identity. And I just want to say that I have never let money change who I am as a person. Like, hold up, you never let money affect any of your decisions? Like this video here and this video here? And hold up, aren't you... And I quote, first and foremost, a businesswoman. A businesswoman. If you're a businesswoman, surely you would be thinking about money quite a bit. You're not a very good business person if you're not thinking about money. I'm just saying, just kind of contradicts, yeah. Okay, uh, anyway, up to this point, um, everyone, myself included, kind of suspected something was up. Uh, everything was a bit too perfect. The whole billionaire's daughter, rich girl character was, just a bit too, it, it seems a bit forced, you know? And when you look a bit closer, um, the merch that she has is all sold out from the moment she made the website, as if anyone was buying it. Was it ever selling? No, it wasn't. And I did a bit of digging and I found this on a site called Oliver's Travel. It's a place called Broughton Hall. Uh, it's 15,300 pounds for a couple nights. Yikes, <laughs> my wallet hurts just hearing that. And when you look at these pictures and you look up close, you know, that's the library. Those are the two paintings in the mirror that she was recording in front. It's the house, okay? It's a rental, okay? We've established that. And all the Instagram posts only go back like a couple months. It became very obvious to me that this is a character and it's actually kind of genius. Um, I'm willing to bet that they launched this whole thing knowing full well that us commentary losers are gonna talk about it because... Funny. <laughs> and honestly, I wish they went a bit longer before breaking character because... I was having fun ripping this apart. Even if it's fictional, it's funny. Obviously, whoever's behind this realizes that it's hilarious to tear apart somebody who's so so well off and so privileged but so unaware of it and then that's how they get people to actually pay attention to i am sophie and then they flip the script so basically at the end of the responding to leon lush video there's there's a bit here where where the screen glitches out we see another girl on the screen along with some weird creepy visuals and the next video is my number one super crazy fan who who is the girl from that video, and it turns out it's a super fan of Sophie's, and at this point, it's really obvious it's an ARG, it's it's an alternate reality game, just something to follow along with and try to figure out, make theories about. So at this point, I'm along for the ride, this seems like fun. Uh, basically, in this video, Sophie and a friend of hers go to the super fan's house, turns out her name's Lara, and it's, it's just the usual, it's a house tour, it's just the usual unself-aware, you know, antics. And then it takes a weird turn when Lara doesn't let Sophie or her friend into the basement and they find cat food, but Lara doesn't have a cat. So, ooh, what's happening, you know? There's 100% somebody in the basement. Uh, there's 100% a prisoner. And then the next video is just... number.mp4. And the whole thing's kind of disturbing to watch. I mean, ev even though it's hopefully fictional, um... <laughs> There's some things I can't really show because yellow dollar sign. But basically, um, like I suggest watching it yourself. It'll be better than me recapping it. But basically, yes, Sophie gets taken by Lara is in probably the basement, I'm guessing. And, and there's also this guy here. But uh, what I find really interesting is this next video. The title is just the first video on the channel in reverse with uh, 
spooky thumbnail. Ooh. And before we get into it, I'd just like to point out the like to dislike ratio. You can see the exact moment people realized, ah, right, this is obviously not real. This is obviously just an ARG. Like you can see that exact moment. Character development. Right, so obviously this is a different version of the first video, one where Lara has replaced Sophie, uh, and it's interspiced with all these creepy glitch edits and cuts to basements and Sophie being taken. It's just a creepy version of the original. I think, this is my theory, I think it's trying to send a message about how showing how great your life is and flexing on social media um, can be harmful to the viewer and can make them want to be in your shoes. Uh, it's it's like a very exaggerated way of telling that narrative, is my theory. And I think it's kind of neat. Uh, it, it uses the Bobby Misner, look at my life, look how lit my life is, meme to actually have some commentary to actually give some I think quite thoughtful you know dialogue on it uh from initially seeing it to now my, my thoughts on the I am Sophie channel have have been flipped 180 I like it now the channel is a good channel uh, I'm interested to see where it goes from now but I'm pretty sure it's just trying to talk about the harmful effect of not not just the Bobby Misners but People out there who try to show, hey, look how perfect my life is, look at me. And the effect that has on the audience who, like Lara, aren't millionaire's daughters and are just normal people in their normal lives. And their role models are the Jake Pauls, the the Rice Gums, is he relevant to? You know, these very braggadocious figures who they want to be like. Anyway, that's just a theory. Okay. At the end of this video, there's a QR code that pops up for a second, um, that if you go to it, it brings you to a site on her website. A site on her website. And if you go onto that, it brings you to a page on her website that just has some binary, which if translated means it is not over. Uh, there's also an audio file that if played, I'm just gonna warn you that this is loud. Yeah, it goes for a minute 30 of just... So yeah, that's fun. So yeah, I just thought that was kind of cool. The fact that at first it's just very much baiting us commentary channels. And in hindsight, it's really obvious that it's bait. It's, it's way too much. The main question now is just who is behind this and why? Because renting that house that they rented, like sure they don't own it. But that's a lot of money, and uh, renting a private jet and a Lamborghini, all these things. There's clearly some money behind this, and at this point, I just want to know, is this a passion project to try and teach a lesson? Or is it like, <laughs> is it a brand, is it Wendy's, like doing some big, long, <laughs> long AIG? At the end, it'll just be like, hey, buy Wendy's burger or something. Like, it's just the next level of advertising. Uh, regardless, I'm here for the ride, and... If you're interested, I suggest you look into it a bit more. I'm I'm sure there's a whole lot of detail that I'm completely missing here and that other people, other YouTubers will have gone way more in on. Um, it's not really my thing. I'm really just in this to s see where it goes and get my opinions from the comments because I don't want to think about it. Uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry it wasn't just dunking on a rich girl for the whole video. Uh, as much as I would have loved that, Maybe next time. But yeah, um, also if you want this shirt I've been wearing, I don't know if they sell it still, but if you want a shirt like this, go to Cool Shirts, link in the description. Use my code SLAZO. Get 15% off, I think, or 20. I don't know, it's been a while since I've done it. This is a shirt they did to um, raise funds for the bushfires that were recently a thing here in Australia. And now they've got one about the virus, so um, I would be wearing that one now, but... I don't have it, so I'm wearing this one instead. Yeah, if you want a cool shirt, go to Cool Shirts. Sweet. Uh, anyway, thank you. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm, I'm kind of getting back into the swing of commentary. As you know, I kind of took a, a, a pretty big break from it. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.